Thank you, Gehirlach. Uh, I'd like to ask the Leader to arrange for the Minister for Communications to come into the House to discuss the recent revelations that RT have paid financial compensation to individuals associated with the Iona Institute in response to complaints about Roy O'Neill's interview on the Saturday Night Show. I think it's incumbent upon the Minister to appear in this House and advise members how much was paid to Iona on foot of that complaint. Were other remedies offered to the organisation, such as a right to reply, and were those more appropriate remedies in my view, uh, refused by that organisation. Did RT give serious consideration to arguing the honest opinion defence in any threatened defamation action? And I'd also like to give the Minister the opportunity to outline to the House if he believes that RTE acted appropriately given its responsibility as a public service broadcaster to ensure balanced debate on issues of public importance. RTE has a responsibility to ensure that all voices are heard, not just those with the deepest pockets. I think that the revelations in the media over the last few days about this uh, financial payment set a dangerous precedent ahead of the referendum on marriage equality that has been promised by the government. I think to allow one, one side of the debate to dictate the terms um, and that, that is clear. It's clear to me that the uh, motivation... The debate in this house, sir. I'm uh, asking the Leader to uh, invite the Minister in to discuss this because I think it's a very serious issue. The motivation of the Iona Institute in bringing this case is very clear. They're afraid of the referendum. They're afraid of the fact that we had a constitutional convention where people heard both sides of the debate over the course of two days and at the end of it, 80% of those people voted for equality. They voted to put behind the prejudice, discrimination of the past and ensure that all the Irish citizens are treated equally. That's what they're afraid of. They can't win that debate. They can't win a fair and open debate. What they And that is what they're trying to exercise here. And I think that RT have a responsibility to ensure that no organisation can dictate the terms just because they're influential or because they have powerful backers. So I call on the leader to invite the minister in here to discuss this very serious issue um, and what safe steps he will take to ensure uh, that such a dangerous precedent isn't followed in future. To be fair to RT, in the past they've run excellent debates like the Late Late Show debate. Uh, again, where there was a panel interview and both sides were heard in that debate um, and the audience at the end of it overwhelmingly voted for equality. So I hope that this is just a once-off, a once but I think that we, we need to be clear that that is the case and that as we go forward and we head into a referendum, that one side will not be able to silence their critics. Thank you.